What's up, y'all? Welcome back to TNT Reaction. What's up? So one of our favorite shows to watch is Seinfeld. Yes, love Seinfeld. Yeah, and we've been watching Seinfeld on Netflix for like the past year, trying mm. to catch up on the episodes the we episodes missed, yeah, that we've never seen before because you kind of watch them out of order, right? But this is a funniest moments comp compilation, so let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, cool. And if you love our channel, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Absolutely. Yeah. Can I help you? Name, please. Uh, Seinfeld, uh, you made a reservation for a midsize, and she's a small. Oh. <laughs> I'm kidding around, of course. Yes. Um, okay, let's see here. 66 years old? Yeah, well, he's in perfect health. He works out. He's vibrant. You'd really like him. Why do people always say that? I hate everybody. Why would I like him? <laughs> so what do you think? Could you go out with a 66-year-old woman? Well, I'll tell you. She would have to be really vibrant. <laughs> so vibrant, she'd be spinning. Oh, I'm sorry. We have no midsize available at the moment. I don't understand. I made a reservation. Do you have my reservation? Oh, yes, we do. Unfortunately, we ran out of cars. Oh. But the reservation keeps the car here. That's why you have the reservations. I know why we have reservations. I don't think you do. <laughs> if you did, I'd have a car. Oh. So you know how to take the reservation, you just don't know how to hold oh. the reservation. <laughs> and that's really the most important part of the reservation, the holding. Anybody can just take them. <laughs> Let me uh, speak with my supervisor. Uh, here we go. The supervisor. You know what she's saying over there? What? Hey, Marge, see those two people over there? They think I'm talking to you. So you pretend like you're talking to me. Okay, now you start talking. Oh, you mean like this? So it looks like I'm saying something, but I'm not really saying anything at all? Okay, now you say something else, and they won't yell at me because they thought I was checking with you. Oh, great, I think. I'm going to get See you later. Okay. I'm sorry, my supervisor says there's nothing we can do. Yeah, it looked like you were in a real conversation over there. But we do have a compact, if you would like that. Fine. All right. Well, we have a blue Ford Escort for you, Mr. Seinfeld. Would you like insurance? Yeah, you better give me the insurance, because I am going to beat the hell out of this. <laughs> oh. That, that was, yeah, that, that was so good. Though. It makes me want to go and find that episode, yeah, and find definitely. out what's, what happens. That kind of pissed me off, though, because right. that's the whole point of a reservation, to reserve the car. Yeah, right. At least apologize and say something happened. Maybe let me upgrade you. Yeah, it, it, upgrade. Uh, yes. Yeah. That's what always Not downgrade. Happens. Right, exactly, exactly. What the heck? But you also got to love uh, Seinfeld's style of comedy. Yeah. Just really, really I'm good. Sorry. <laughs> I'm on no sleep. No sleep. You don't know what it's like in there. All night long, things are creaking and cracking, and that red light is burning my brain. You look a little stressed. Oh, I'm stressed. So, Kramer, what am I supposed to do if I don't have that fur hat by 4 o'clock? They're going to take me down like Nixon. Oh. You know my friend Bob Sacramento? I thought he was Kramer's friend. Well, he called last night about 3 a.m., and we got to talking. He sells Russian hats down at Battery Park. Forty bucks. Forty bucks? Are they sable? No, but the difference is negligible. It sounds like Kramer. Oh, yeah, I like this idea. All right, let's give it a shot. Let's go. Giddy up. <laughs> he, must have liked, he must have switched apartments with Kramer or something. Because his mannerisms was yeah, just like Yeah, I think like that's Kramer. what he said. Because, like, the red light is driving him crazy. Mm. Um, that is coming from Kramer's side of the apartment. Oh, okay. Yeah, mm. we'll All right, listen up. Now, you three have been handpicked out of possibly dozens who applied. <laughs> so now, what guy. we're looking for are motivated, <laughs> oh, homeless. hardworking, homeless uh, gentlemen like yourselves to pull rickshaws. Now, I don't care where you're from or how you got oh, here or what happened to your homes, but you will have to be physically fit. The government! <laughs> because the pull rickshaws requires more than just strong legs. You're also going to need a well-toned upper body. <laughs> or a shirt. All right, who's first? Oh, yeah. Hey. Name, please. Rusty. 
Rusty. <laughs> no, I once knew a horse named Rusty. No offense. All right, now take it down to the end of the block. Make a control turn and bring her oh back. My God. Let's see what you got. Okay, ready and go. He's gonna yeah. steal it. He's gonna Let's steal it. All right, pace yourself because you're gonna have to do this all day for very little money. <laughs> hey, what's he doing? I think he's stealing our rickshaw. <laughs> then he's out. I'll take the job. Potato salad. Oh. Oh. And I'm sitting there with Woody, and uh, I say, I turn to him, and I go, uh, boy, these pretzels are making me thirsty. <laughs> Is that how you're going to say it? No, no, I'm working on it. Do it like this. These pretzels are making me thirsty. <laughs> these pretzels are making me thirsty. No, no, see, that's no good. See, you don't know how to act. <laughs> These pretzels are making me thirsty. <laughs> oh, that was no good? I didn't say anything. All right, I'm going to go uh, break up with Owen. What was wrong with that? I had a different interpretation. Do you know anything about right. this pretzel guy? Maybe bill. he's been in the bar a really long time and he's really depressed because he has no job and no woman and he's parking cars for a living. All right, all right, shut up, shut up. I hear you. I'm coming down. These pretzels are making me tasty. Yeah. I feel like um, with all these different sayings, mm -hmm. there's you can like use them as mm. inside jokes yeah right and it'll just be so funny and well why don't know. you try it say it um i mean we use hello no 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 these pretzels are making me thirsty try these it. pretzels are making me thirsty <laughs> <laughs> now watching this compilation it, it makes me realize how many episodes we really miss because <laughs> i haven't seen any of these I'm going to get right to the point. Uh, it's come to my attention that you and the cleaning woman have engaged in sexual intercourse oh. on the desk in your office. Is that correct? <laughs> Who said that? She did. Oh. Was that wrong? Oh. Should I not have done that? I tell George you, I gotta hilarious. plead ignorance on this thing because if anyone had said anything to me at all when I first started here that that sort of thing was frowned upon, <laughs> you know, because I've worked in a lot of offices and <laughs> I tell you, people do that all the time. So. Oh. You're fired. Oh. Well, you didn't have to say it like that. I, I want you out of here by the end of the day. What about the whole Christmas spirit thing? Any flexibility there? <laughs> nah. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. She wanted me to give you this. Oh, ew. Oh, yes. Well, if I hear you correctly, and I think that I do, <laughs> my advice to you is to Finish your meal, pay your check, leave here, and never mention this to anyone again. Can't be done, huh? The switch? The switch. Can't be done. I wonder. Do you realize in the entire history of Western civilization, no one has successfully accomplished the roommate switch? In the Middle Ages, you could get locked up for even suggesting it. We didn't have roommates in the Middle Ages. <laughs> How do you know? Well, for one thing, they didn't have apartments. <laughs> well, I'm sure at some point between the years 800 and 1200, somewhere there were two women living together. Well, the point is, I intend to undertake this, and I'll do it with or without you. So if you're scared, if you haven't got the stomach for this, let's get it out right now. And I'll go on my own. If not, you can get on board and we can get to work. Now, what's it going to be? Oh, man. All right, damn it, I'm in. I couldn't do it without you. <laughs> That's right. funny. Let's get to work. All right, what? Who's he doing? He's putting 
sugar in the coffee. He's putting sugar in the, in the coffee. They're trying to figure out how, I guess because he's dating a girl, but he likes her roommate. Oh, so okay. they're trying to figure out how he can... Get the other girl. Yeah, how he could do the switch. Okay, have you seen that episode? I think I um, seen part of it. Okay. I didn't see what initially happened. Okay, yeah. right, right, right. <laughs> enough for today. <laughs> <laughs> all day. Oh, that yeah, that was good. That was really good. Now, I, I, now I feel like I, I want to go watch Seinfeld, and, and I have to go and find all these episodes, yeah, especially yeah, the really. roommates, which I want to see how that ended. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm assuming it, it didn't end well. Like, it never ended. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> maybe, it, maybe if it was just Jerry, it probably would have ended well. But whenever George gets involved nothing in no because like you can't start dating one girl and she has a roommate and then start dating her you can't but that kind of stuff happens yeah i mean i'm not saying it don't happen right, yeah. but without conflict and 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 then watching a show like seinfeld that is the exact scenario of Try something to, that would happen. Try to contemplate how you're going to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then coming up with a plan or a strategy or something like that. <laughs> i just be a, a downright dirty dog. Right. Do <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, uh, leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. Uh, of course, we would love to continue to do more Seinfeld compilations on the channel. But also, let us know your favorite Seinfeld episode down below in the comment section. Anyway, we're getting up out of here. As always, like, share, and subscribe. We'll see y'all next time. Take care. Peace. That was that was really yeah, good. That was very funny.